Now, you've identified a very interesting problem with the Office for National Statistics data, looking at mortality by vaccination status. Now, if you can just give us a couple of minutes intro on this, Norman. Yeah, so since July of 2021, I, when they were first getting in the data on mortality via vaccination status, the Office of National Statistics have been producing these reports every two months, well, <laughs> up until they stopped doing it in, in July of 2022. And we felt that these reports were really important because they were the first opportunity to be able to really determine the risk benefit of the vaccines. Because they would enable you to be able to, to see the all cause mortality comparison between the vaccinated and the unvaccinated. And that's important because with COVID is as, as deadly as claimed that the vaccines are working well, then what we should be seeing, of course, is a higher all cause mortality in the unvaccinated compared to the vaccinated. So Technically, everything should have been there to be able to do that. The problem was, right from the beginning, there were sort of problems with the data. And we found all kinds of anomalies. And there was a lot of misclassification of deaths. So the people who were dying shortly after vaccination were being classified as unvaccinated. There was a lot of missing deaths of people who were vaccinated. And there was an underrepresentation of people who were unvaccinated in the sample. So you're getting this, this, all, all these kinds of biases. We were so unhappy with this that we, yeah, we've had discussions with ONS. We weren't getting the answers that we needed. So we wrote to the statistics regulator. We actually put in a formal complaint in November of 2022. We pointed them to the detailed reports that we provided and we summarized all of the key points. We, we made two points. One was that that it underestimated the, the population proportion of unvaccinated. That was massively biased in the results. And we said in our letter to them, the data is, is so unreliable, nobody should use it anymore as a justification for the efficacy and safety of COVID vaccines. And we called for a retraction of any claims made by any others based on this data. Anyway, on Friday, after two months, we eventually got the response from the statistics regulator. And on two very, very key points, they absolutely agreed with us. They agreed that the sample that the ONS was using was not representative of the general population. And they explicitly said they agreed with us because it underrepresented those unvaccinated. So that's the first point. They agreed with us on that. Massive bias in the data set. But then critically, what they actually said was that those reports do not provide information on vaccine effectiveness or vaccine safety and should not be used in this way, which is exactly what we were saying.